everyone, and welcome to this video of the mysteries of the Black Sun by Enoshus Tien Balta from the Temple of Ascending Flame. First of all, in the world of the occult, especially the left hand path, we often hear the words Black Sun, but not everyone goes deep in their research about it and it just remains a philosophical idea without really talking about its alchemical sense. The Black Sun is present in several traditions, cults and religions, and there are many entities linked to it. However, I found that its roots are mainly Luciferian and Arimanian. On the other hand, ascribing the Black Sun to only these two paradigms is too limited. I believe that the alchemical process of transformation of the Magus happens in all magicians, sorcerers, witches, satanists, luciferians, and so on. For some who are novices in magic, this transformation is inevitable and is the beginning of piercing the veil between the mundane life and the discovery of truth, which enhances the senses of the Magus very strongly for some and in a slow way for others. We can associate this phenomenon with the fall in the abyss that can be very painful for many magicians. In fact, in a more scientific sense, this is the awakening of the subconscious that meets the awakened mundane state and confronts the sorcerer with the void. It means that in this process you lose your attachments to things you like to do before, which can be depressive, overwhelming or painful, because you realize that most people will never understand the true meaning of life and its true gifts, no matter how you are transforming the process. Suffering is not the only sensation you will experience in the abyss. After a few months, when you get used to this pain, you will start to realize that you are liberated from the change of the tyrannical society that tells you how you should conduct your life. This begins early as a child, especially in the western part of the world. While going to school, you learn to be competitive, manipulated and convinced that there is only one way to behave, otherwise the blind and masses will tell you that you are crazy and governments will do everything to shut your mouth if you try to tell the truth behind the lies we learn from the media in the modern society. In this sense, the black sun is the sun that you see with your third eye and feel with your new soul, powers and abilities. When you are lost in complete darkness, this is often the time when you find your true inner light and resurrect yourself from the old blind self to experience true liberation and become your true self. The entities connected with the Black Sun include Sorath, the Beast of the Sun, and Lucifer, the bringer of light, who is also a personification of the Sun. Lucifer's light is in fact black and through the alchemical process becomes golden. When you reach this point, you have crossed the abyss and gained understanding of the golden or white light. Then you are also ready to create the perfect balance between light and darkness and to start your eternal ascent that never ends. Even though Belfego is the king of the Cliff Artagirion in Kabbalah, it would be too limiting to reduce this cliffa to only one entity. I found that Lucifer and Amemon are gods of the sun too, and I saw them in a fiery dragon form that makes the light of the sun as powerful as thousands of nuclear bombs, releasing large quantities of energy and opening gateways to other dimensions of the multiverse. Even though there are hundreds, if not thousands, of entities connected with the Black Sun, I found that the most powerful are Amon, Ariman, Belzebub, Pazuzu, Belial, Baal, Ariton, Satan. However, the ones that will make the most sense to you for your own discovery of entities linked to the Black Sun are those that only you can perceive and believe. The entities I connected to the Black Sun are the ones that resonate with me in my work. But like I said, yours can be totally different and unique to you. 
In addition, I discovered 72 demons unknown to people with their sigils that I channeled who are protectors of a very ancient and strong power. The subject of the Black Sun is also very draconian. It is the metamorphosis of the serpent into the dragon, which rises from the root chakra to reach apotheosis through the crown chakra and becomes free to fly in stellar dimensions and to ascend to divinity and become a true god in full control over its life. When you reach this state, the day-to-day -day life may seem boring, but it's important to stay grounded when you have to do things that are not magical. It can be hard, but in fact, this makes you even stronger when you shift to your magical state. In the present, apocalyptic times, the Black Sun gains a lot of power. According to the Christian tradition, there are 666 fallen angels hidden among us in a human form, and nothing can stop them from recreating the world in their image. The traitors will be punished, but the wise people who do not realize their powers yet and suffer from tyrannical times will be elevated. So if you feel alone, if you are psychic and have rage in you, if you feel attracted to the occult, maybe it's time to awaken and become who you truly are. Know that you are not alone and there are people like you. The story of the fallen angels is Christian, as well as the demons existing on earth in a human form. They are hidden, but in a large number. But a new aeon has truly begun, and those who fail to notice these changes will fall. In conclusion, the Black Sun is within your heart, spirit and mind, the pathway to your true self. It's like opening the Pandora's box, but you have the choice to engage in magic or to continue the superficial life you've always known. If you make the first step into the abyss to transform yourself into a living god, your inner serpent will become the dragon, and there will be no turning back. Once you've stepped in your subconscious areas, you will be awakened forever, and you won't be able to close the box. Lucifer will enlighten your soul to find your way in the void. Thank you. <laughs>